Welcome to day 14 of the 25 apps in 25 day series, the daily series where I show off a brand new app every single day for 25 days in a row. If you missed any of the previous episodes, I've linked a playlist down below where you can catch up. But for today's episode, we've got a free and open source app that unlocks a bunch of really handy and downright cool tiles for your quick settings panel. As always, just a reminder that this video and this series does not have any sponsors, but it is supported by those of you who download and use any of my apps, as well as those who purchase any of the digital products that I sell on my website, all of which will be linked below. And I do want to quickly highlight the companion app to this series, my app shelf, which is a library of handpicked app recommendations from yours truly. We literally add brand new app recommendations every single day, so it's definitely worth a shout. But with that being said, let's check out day 14's application. All right, so the app that we're exploring today is called Toolkit Tiles, and it's available via GitHub, link below. But here's the unique thing about this app. Once it's installed, you won't actually find any sort of user interface, because as I said at the start, what the app actually does is unlock a bunch of really handy tiles for your quick settings panel. So once you've installed it, you just swipe into your quick settings panel, then tap the edit icon, then you just swipe all the way down like so. And then once you come to this section of tiles where they have this little yellow backgrounded toolkit icons, they're the ones that have actually only just been enabled thanks to the toolkit tiles app. So just for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and add every single one to my quick settings panel, but in a particular order, as certain tiles kind of go together. So just bear with me as I do this, but we'll start with this add tile. And most of these tiles work best in their expanded mode. So I'm gonna expand each of them as we go, but then I'll add this remove tile and expand it, then add this reset tile and expand it. Then I'll add these coin flip and dice roll tiles and expand both of them as well. And then to keep things clean, I'll add this compass tile and drag it to this new page here, then expand it like so. And then I'll add this level tile and expand it, then this lux meter tile and expand it. Then finally, I'll add these lock, screenshot and SOS tiles respectively, none of which need to be expanded. And now that we're done adding our tiles, I'll tap this back icon to lock that configuration in, and now we can explore what each of them do. Again, we'll just run through these toggles one by one, starting with these add, remove, and reset tiles. And in theory, these are literally just meant to be very simple counter tiles that are actually kind of connected to each other. So for example, if you're umpiring a cricket match and you're counting balls in an over or something like that, then you could use the add counter, and then at the end of the over, you can tap reset and then start again. The only thing to keep in mind with these is that sometimes they do take a moment before registering your tap and they don't update automatically if you tap the other. So let's say here where the add counter is on six, if I tap reset, that add counter doesn't immediately reset. It'll take a few seconds or so before it resets and sometimes it doesn't reset at all until you tap it again. Let's add a few more for the sake of this video, just to show you that the same also goes for the remove counter. If I tap it, it doesn't take away from that first counter. It just continues the tally on that new tile before resetting the add tile. And then when you tap the add tile, it'll continue where the remove tile left off. Does that make sense? It does take a few minutes to get your head around, but I guarantee you it does eventually make sense. So those are the counter tiles and don't worry, the others are much more self-explanatory. So we've then got this coin flip tile, which will just show you a random coin flip result, which is great for quick decision making. There's also a dice roll tile, which does a similar thing and it has a pretty neat little animation to go with. Then over on the second page here, you've got this compass tile, which when activated will show you a real time compass. Same goes for this level tile. If I tap it, it'll show me a real time level indicator. And both of these will move around if you're actually holding your phone, which is pretty cool. And this Lux meter tile is also very much the same as those two in that when you tap it, it'll actually give you a real time ambient light intensity reading based on your phone sensors. And just an FYI, when I tested this on my Pixel 10 running Android 16, the toggles would only work for a few seconds before freezing, but thankfully that doesn't seem to be the case here on my Nothing Phone 3. Then we've got the lock tile, which when you first tap it, will take you into your phone's accessibility settings and which needs to scroll down to the toolkit tiles option tap it, then tap the toggle, then press allow. And now when we come back into our quick settings panel and swipe over, when we now tap that lock toggle, it'll lock our phone. Pretty handy. Then if we unlock and swipe back into our quick settings panel and over to this last page here, the second to last tile is our screenshot tile, which as you can probably predict, this will take a screenshot of whatever is on your screen, which I actually think is a really handy option rather than having to fumble with button combinations. And then finally, when we swipe back into our quick settings panel again and across to our last page, the last tile is this SOS one, which when tapped will activate an SOS signal using your phone's flash. 
But there you have it, that is Toolkit Tiles, and that is day 14 complete. As always, don't forget to check out my app shelf for even more great app recommendations, and don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next episode. But that's it, thank you all very much for watching, and I will catch you later.